Welcome everyone to another edition of AFL Today. As you can see, finally joining us in studio, the legendary Silas Demery. And no, not Silas, mini Silas, but the Silas Demery is hanging out with us. Silas, we appreciate you hanging out with us, sir. Thanks for making the trek all the way up here. Uh, happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Excellent. Well, Silas, let's get right into it because we don't have a lot of time. Number one, let's start in the beginning here. Uh, you were born a football player. A lot of people think that, but uh, you started playing what? Pop Warner High School? Take us yeah, from Pop like high school to college. And Pop Warner. I started playing Pop Warner, you know, when I was about seven or eight years old. And then um, I started on there and I went to high school, to junior high, and I only played like uh, maybe one year and, uh, for JV because I, I guess the coach thought I was good enough to come up to varsity. So I played varsity from ninth grade all the way up to my senior year in high school. And I got a, you know, a col I mean, a scholarship to go to North Greenville Junior College, and then I um, got an offer to go to Virginia State, and that's why I ended up at Virginia State University. Okay, so Virginia State University. Now let's let the fans now. Most people assume that you started as a uh, a defensive or offensive lineman. Now you were quarterback, receiver. Where were you in college and high school? You're always one of the bigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, ironically, in high school I was an offensive guard, and. Um, I like to pull, you know, I like to pull and hit people, so they put me at guard. I played offensive guard and tight end also. Okay, so you got the hands, all right. Got the hands. Okay, now a lot of people don't know that there was kind of a hiatus here after uh, college. The pros didn't come beating your door down, so you took, what, a six-year break? Is that what yeah. it was? Yeah. Um, uh, after college, I uh, actually went to uh, the Combines in 1995 with uh, the likes of Cordell Stewart, Derek Brooks, and uh, Steve McNair. And... I didn't get an invitation to any type of camp or anything, so I just started working. Actually, I went and tried out for arena team in Albany, New York in 1995, and also a CFL team in Baltimore, which was Baltimore Stallion at the time. And um, neither one of the teams have selected me, so I just started working. Well, let's get that. Okay, so you got six years off. You're saying, okay, that's it. I'm done with football. You wrote it off, and now... I remember you told the story earlier off camera here. So you, you've hung up football, you're done with it, and next thing you know, your mother-in-law's calling you, telling you to try for a team. What was yeah. Phyllis in on that? It, it was so funny. Um, I had just moved to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, uh, working at a group home up there as a counselor. And um, me and my wife was asleep late one night, and her mom called and said, hey, you know, you got to make this call to this coach. He wants you to call, he wants you to call him. So I was like, what do you want me to call him for, you know? I say, well, do you want me to come coach? And he was like, no, we don't want you to come coach. We want you to come play. I was like, coach, I've been out for six years. He was like, no, nah, you can still, I think you still can do it. And he asked me to come down and try out. And I did. And uh, when I got down there to try out, he was like, oh, look, you cannot leave until you sign this contract. And I was like, coach, I, you know, I don't think I can sign this contract because, you know, we just moved up there to Pennsylvania from VA which is Virginia, and then we got to move back to Virginia. I was like, I have to go and set on it. So I talked to a lot of coaches, my wife, my family, and, and they all told me to go for it because, you know, you don't want to have to sit back and say, what if I would have done it? And, you know, I didn't, and, and I did, and here I am today sitting here with you. Okay, so you start with Arena 2. Let's take us to the timeline here. So we started Arena 2 making a whopping, you said, what, 250 a game? What was yeah, it? Actually, like I said, two hundred fifty dollars. You know, it was two hundred and two if you won the game. Okay. And one hundred and sixty-six dollars if you lost the game. So. <laughs> now that's not per day. That's per game. Per game. Per so game. Uh, you had, a, I guess, a wonderful supportive wife to uh, kind of look to the long term. There, as you're saying, honey, we we can make this work here. Yes, I did, man. She stood behind me, and she's still standing behind me, and I I owe all of it to her, you know, for allowing me the opportunity to come out here and do something I love to do and and, and ch chase my career. Okay, speaking of chasing, you were a uh, sack leader here for the Avengers two years ago with 13, but before we got there, you went through a couple different, give us the, the timeline here to the Avengers. I guess you went to Columbus and then Buffalo, well, give us, where, where'd you go? When I, actually, when I came out of Arena 2, I started off at the, with the Carolina Cobras, which was in 2001, I played a season there, and in 2002 and three, I played two seasons with the Buffalo Destroyers. And from there on, I got, I was a free agent after the 2003 season, and the LA Avengers was one of the teams that was really wanting me to come out here to play for them, and I decided to sign a contract to come out here and play out here in LA. Excellent. So the Avengers picked you up, uh, found a great home here in Los Angeles. Now, Silas, the scary thing is you're my age, so you're 35. How much more gas is in the tank here for you? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I mean, some days I feel like, oh, I'm ready to hang it up. And the other days, I feel like, man, I can keep playing for another 
four or five years. So, I mean, I think I take it year by year, you know, and just see how my body feels after the season to try to make a comeback. Okay. Got a couple more questions for you as time's running out. Let's talk, number one, about the, and this may be, I asked you beforehand, folks, so if, uh, remember, we strapped him down so he can't get too mad at me. What, you've been with the Avengers a couple years now. What is the stigma? We've yet to win a playoff game. What do you think the challenge is there, Silas? Uh, man, you know, me, myself, person having never won a championship, having never been to a playoff until I came out here to L.A., and, I, I mean, I just think we just got to continue to believe and play like we played Saturday night against Georgia and if the same team come out and play that I, I have no doubt that we can get past the first, yon, first round and beyond. Maybe even play for Arena Bowl Championship this year. Okay, Silas, again, if, again, if we played, yeah, we played that way, it was fabulous. Now, the only bummer part was K.I. wasn't even on the field, and you guys yeah. <laughs> played fantastic. But uh, let's, uh, let's I, I got one more question for you, Silas, before we let you go here. Okay, folks, one last question for Silas, and now, especially with, uh, we talked about Kevin Ingham starring in the movie Invincibles, where the 30-year-old bartender walks on, makes the team, everyone's uh, seen the rookie uh, with a baseball player making on. Silas, tell the older guys like us out there that think it's over, it's done, and uh, what do you have to say to those guys who think that, hey, my chance is over, it's, it's, it, is it never too late, or what do you have to say to those guys doing it yourself here? Well, I don't think it's never too late because if you have the desire and the passion to play the game, then I think you still can go out there and do it. No matter what you feel and no matter how you think you, you cannot do it, you can be successful if you have it here and you definitely have the determination in your mind. Excellent, Silas. Well, Silas, we're out of time. We appreciate you hanging out with us. For Silas Demery, I'm Evan Money. God bless, everybody. He's All a, right, here's good. Here's good. good. He's a toad. All right, so we'll start. <laughs> see, I wasn't here for his to, to be like that. See, so. <laughs> a bloop. <laughs>